guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed summer so far. So um, I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. I have been, I had took a break because I have been to Wales for a holiday for five days because I have, um, because my sister's got married. Um, so I'd like to thank you for subscribing to my channel to his notification. So I'll be doing another read aloud video. So it's going to be another Disney story. And so if you're quite familiar with, I have got Walt Disney's Dumbo on land, on sea, in the air. This is um, Disney's Wonderful World of Reading. If you, are you, do you recognise this Disney's Dumbo? This is a 1941 classic. So, you have come to the right place. I hope you, so, I'll start reading for you guys. So, okay, so now, I will read to you. So, I hope you enjoy this. So, Mrs. Jumbo put her bag, big yellow case, onto the train. That is that, she said. Now the circus is ready to go. All the animals were in their seats, but the train did not start. They waited and waited and waited. The train still did not move. Finally, Mrs. Jumbo looked out the window. Jumbo, she said to her son. Go and go see why the train does not start. We'll, we will be late. Dumbo went to the front of the train. There, there he saw Casey Jr., the engine. Poor Casey. He had lost two wheels and he seemed to be falling apart. Dumbo told his mother the bad news. Oh dear, she said, what we, what will we do? The circus opens in, Bo in Boston in just four days. I will find a way for us to get there, said Dumbo. He flapped his long floppy ears. He flew into the air. Dumbo was only fine elephant in the world. His friend Timothy the mouse sat on Dumbo's nose. Together, Dumbo and Tim Timothy flew over the city. Look, called Timothy, a ship. We can go to Bos Boston on a ship. It must be fun to travel on the water. Dumbo landed over the deck of a bit great big ship. Can you take our circus to Buxton? He asked the cap ship's captain. I will be glad to take you, said the captain. Mrs. Jumbo was very happy when she heard the news. Follow me, she called to the other animals. I will lead you to the ship. Each animal had his own way of getting onto the ship. Mrs. Jumbo walked across a little bridge. She was so fat that, that it almost broke in two. The giraffe grabbed the whale with his long legs. A bear swam over on a big hook. A whiner tried to climb for the lifesaver. Look out, everybody. Here comes Tiger Jim on the rope. If he isn't careful, a flying fox will hit him. Glad to see you, said the captain. Please feel right at home here. The monkeys felt right at home. They started swinging from the lights. Mrs. Jumbo went to, went to her room. Oh my, she said. That bed looks a little small for me. I had better see if it fits. And up the ladder she went. 
Crash! Mrs. Jumbo landed on the floor. The bed was certainly too small. Harry Hippo wanted to go upstairs. The stairs were small. He was big. His friends had to push and push and push. Well, they pushed a little too hard. Harry crashed through the door and banged into the poor captain. The captain fell through the stirring wheel and hit the table. The captain was very, very angry. Pack your bags, he shouted. I will not take this circus any further. Get off my ship! Dumbo and Timothy flew away from the ship as fast as they could. Now, they had to find another way to get to Boston. They did not have much time. The circus had to be there in just three days. So they came into the airport. Look at the big helicopter, shouted Timothy. Maybe we can use that. Then everyone can fly, just like you and me. The helicopter man was glad to follow Dumbo and Timothy to the ship. When the animals saw the helicopter coming, they all began to cheer. Hooray for Dumbo, they shouted. Dumbo's friends began to climb aboard the helicopter. What fun! The monkeys ran up the giraffe's neck, while a big net carried Mrs. Jumbo. The fox had a nice ride on her trunk. At last, the animals were all set. Everybody had his own place. The seal even had water to splash in. What a great way to travel! As they rode, they looked out the windows at a bright blue sky. They had never gone so fast before. Fine was certainly fun, but suddenly the wind began to flow. The sky grew black, flashing lightning flashed and the rain pulled down. The helicopter began to shake. All of the animals were afraid. Don't boy, you must you must get us out of here, shouted Mr. Jumbo. Dumbo and Timothy flew down to the water ground. It was hard to see in the train in the rain, but they found a big parking place. There were trunk trucks and cars on it. There were also room for the helicopter. The helicopter landed and the animals staggered out. They felt sick, but they had to get to Boston. The bear jumped onto the motorcycle, the rhino climbed onto the car, but was little too small for him. Dumbo told the man at the parking lot that circus would be paid for the cars and trucks. Mrs. Jumbo rode on a big truck, the tiger, the fox and the parrot rode on top of her. They had the very good driver. Harry Hippo had his own little car. It went very fast. The kangaroo found a wonderful new way to hop much faster than the old way. At last, the animals reached Boston. Dumbo got them there on just in time. Hooray, shouted the ringmaster. Let's get this circus started. Boys and girls, the circuit is about to begin, called the ringmaster. And it began, begin it did. Rhino and Fox were swinging on their trapezes. And so were my monkeys. Mrs. Jumbo rolled, rolled around the wing on her bull. Harry Hippo stood on his head. Everybody was doing something. It was truly the best circus anybody had ever seen. 
When his circuit was over, Mrs. Jumbo heard Jumbo. Son, she said, I'm, I'm f I am very proud of you. Because of your help, the circuit's opened on time. Then she added, and you are helps to Timothy. Both Dumbo and Timothy were very, very happy. Well, this is the end. So, I hope you enjoyed this reading out video of Disney Classics. So, if you give thumbs up, and feel free to when it comes down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So, please stay tuned for another reading out video. So, have a great day and hopefully I'll see you on the next video.